Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today uh, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough tour of one of our custom sailfish models that we're building for a client who's gonna be using this property as a vacation model. Um, what's unique about this property is basically we, we started off with the Sailfish 333 and then customized it um, into a three bedroom, three bath, but with a two master. So basically it has the, the, the standard master suite that you would find in our Sailfish model. And then if you go back to the rear bedroom, we basically have a junior master suite. So. Let's go in and, and the first thing I wanna point out is that the front entry, uh, this model does not have a den. So basically we have the front entry door with the two full, full lights and then we have um, two transom windows on each side. Uh, so it kind of gives it uh, more of that modern feel. Um, also the beam height on this is 10 feet, eight inches. And we'll show you that as far as on the inside and a couple of things that we did um, on the interior as far as for the lanai in the back bedroom. Um, one of the uh, features I wanted to uh, point out over here is that the client went with the smooth sand finish for the uh, front uh, exterior. So let's walk inside. <clears throat> so first thing I wanna point out is that again, there is no den in here. And we did do a lot of modifications uh, to get to the floor plan of where we're at right now. Um, the, um, the trays that you see above are, are more of uh, the, the, the trays that come in. And then they did the rope lighting inside. This is a 12 foot ceiling on the great room area in kitchen and dinette. And we have a 10 foot 90 degree slider. So I'll open this up over here. So this is a really nice feature. We always get this question asked all the time. Can you take the 10 foot slider and do it in our models? Yes. So we can do it in our Marlin and up models as far as the 10 foot slider. So over here we have the entertainment niche and they did the squared off entertainment niche. And let's walk into the master bedroom. All right, uh, for the floor uh, over here, they decided to go with a laminate floor for the uh, bedrooms. And over here, we have a nine foot tall slider that goes out into the lanai. And we're able to do that because of the beam height in here is 10 feet, eight inches. Over here, we have our standard layout for our sailfish bathroom. So we have our door here, the his and hers closets. So you walk over to here, we have the dual sinks. Then we have our shower with rain shower. and the standalone tub. The uh, homeowner went with the quartz. So it's called the spark, it's a sparkling ice quartz. It's a white, very nice quartz. And they went with a gourmet kitchen package. So you have a cooktop with hood and a microwave oven combo. Again, all these cabinets are all soft clothes, light rail, and crown above for the kitchen cabinets. So over here we have our third bedroom, or actually let's call it the second bedroom. Um, so over here we have the second bedroom. It's a nice size room. And again, they went with the laminate for the wood flooring closet over here with bifold doors and just off to this bedroom you'd have the guest bedrooms slash bathroom that would be used for this bathroom over bedroom over here and again this is a, a simple bathroom shower 
with a single base sink. All right, so let's walk over to the uh, Junior Master Suite, which is located off the dinette area over here. And again, so you have the Junior Master Suite with, again, a nine foot sliding glass door over here to the right that will go out to the lanai. And then over here for the master, the Junior Master bathroom, we have a closet to the left with dual sinks, toilet, and a walk-in shower. All right, let's walk into the lanai area. They're getting ready to put the pavers up, but we'll just show the pool real quick. What we have here is our standard hookup for our outdoor kitchen. We have the pre-plumb, we have the electric um, wiring, and we have a cable outlet for the TV. Over here for the pool, the homeowner went with a sun shelf here with steps that go down. The sun shelf has two bubblers. Uh, we'll have two LED lights over here. The pool is located off the corner over here. The homeowner went with the bench over here. And this is uh, required for you to, uh, for, to, to get out as far as for the pool. And a standard um, eight by eight spa with a spillover into the pool area. All right, let's take a look at the, the last part of the house. The, um, we're gonna go over by the laundry and we also have a pantry closet. And this is off of the garage. So over here we have a pantry closet located, nice size pantry closet. We have a laundry room with a sink base, cabinet, and sink, and uppers above the washer and dryer. And then we'll walk out here to the garage area. And to get a little bit of extra light into the garage, uh, the homeowner did go with a transom off of here. So this is a nice little feature that you can add. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour of another home built by Pinnacle uh, Building Solutions. This is our Sailfish model that we customized it for our client uh, to basically turn it into a vacational or seasonal rental. Um, please remember, if you are in the market for a lot, a uh, resale or a new construction inventory home, please check out our website at PinnaclePropertyGRP.com. And if you're looking to build on your lot or a custom home, please uh, contact us on our website at PinnacleBuildingSolutions.com. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.